Respawn doesn't care about Apex anymore. Hi, I'm Lemon, and uh, before we get to the video, do you mind subscribing? It'd help me a lot. Only 93% of you are subscribed, and uh, yeah, it would be a big help. On to the video. There's been a huge amount of issues in the, with Apex recently, and Respawn doesn't seem to be caring as much as they should be. Since the ALG's hacking and um, them immediately dropping a $700 universal heirloom, to then wiping everyone's accounts to the beginning of the season, losing progression, losing uh, heirlooms shards, losing a bunch of that, taking a whole day. Since the beginning of, like, since when the ALG's got hacked, we got um, a statement out from Respawn Entertainment. On Sunday, a few professional Apex Legends players' accounts were hacked during an ALG event. Game and player security are our highest priority, which is why we pause the competition to address the issue immediately. Our teams have deployed the first of a layered series of updates to protect the Apex Legends player community and create a, ser a secure experience for everyone. Thanks for your patience. Yet, we got a recording from the person who hacked, Destroyer2009, saying that Respawn knew of this issue, it still isn't patched, and when we tried to reach out to Easy Anti Cheat, they said that it wasn't their fault. Rumors spread around saying that Respawn Entertainment bought the cheap version of Easy Anti Cheat. And apparently, it isn't to do with anything about hacking the computers, or hacking the actual account, or hacking the PC. It was going through Apex to hack the players. Which is kind of crazy to me, since I played this game forever. To then, right after this, Releasing a $700 heirloom event. Yeah, $700 for a shovel. A shovel. Um, 700, it takes about, you know, four, probably four or five hundred Canadian dollars, what I, you know, what I use, to buy the entire event. And you can't use crafting material either. You have to use crafting material, almost 2,000, to buy one. One pack, and it's not even guaranteed of what you want. If it's a skin you want. So it's already $300, maybe, maybe, probably more, $500 to buy the heirloom outright, since you have to pay. And then they're adding customizations that will probably add even more than probably $700. There'll be multiple universal heirlooms. And not only that, they'll be adding a currency that you have to buy. Money! 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 <laughs> if you ever want these after the event goes away. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. I've been playing this game for so long, they say that they care. But, like, and before when this happened with an earlier uh, event, like season 3 or 4, they posted this. At launch, we made a promise to players that we intend to do monetization in a way that felt fair and provided choice to the players of how they spent their money and time. A core decision during development of Apex Legends was that we wanted to make a world-class battle royale game, and in quality, depth, progression, and important for today's conversation. How we sell stuff? With the Iron Crown event, we missed the mark when we broke our promises by making Apex Packs the only way to get the many considered to be the coolest skins we've released. <laughs> that was many, many, many seasons ago. And now they're releasing $700, and when people complain, they don't, they don't post a statement on it. And then during this event, right after April Fools, which is kind of ironic, uh, people's items got reset, the accounts got reset back to the beginning of this season. People, if you gained heirloom shards in it, your, all your levels, everything, got reset to what you had at the beginning of the season. So if you bought the heirloom, it would have reset. But luckily, for once... Since it required money, and it got might be getting taken out of their pocket or a lawsuit, that they immediately patched it the next day, surprisingly. I've been playing this game since probably... I first played it in 2019. I got picked it back up during COVID. I have never experienced this on a game ever. And I've been playing Helldivers too. They patch stuff and update it real quick. Apex, Respawn, please. For your player base, do better.